Hey everybody, I'm going to carry on with the query building we did in the last video. Um, so I'm not going to review how to get into the query builder and I'm going to keep going from the query we built in the last video which was to see how many patients have been in in the last three years. So now I want to go a little more detailed and I want to say how many patients have not been in within the last three years. Those are the ones we want to do some outreach to. Now. We also don't want to search past beyond 10 years back because we don't want to pull up a bunch of patients who have moved away or haven't been in in that long. So we need to add some more filters. So we're going to keep it. We still want to look for patients who have a status starting with active. We still want patients who are older than 18 years. Now this time I'm going to change the appointment date in the last three years to doesn't match. And when I hit update rule, you will see that that line turns red, which indicates that we want a curo to show us all the patients who do not match that line. So we are going to add another appointment line and date, and we want to say in the last 10 years. We're going to make sure we choose patient records only. So we want to add this rule. So we want to say they have not been in the last three years, but they have been in the last 10 years. And we want to make sure we're not calling and harassing those patients who have been responsible and have booked themselves in an upcoming appointment. So we're also going to add in that they have an appoint no appointment booked in the next one year. We're going to again say doesn't match, patient records only, remember that, otherwise it's going to show me every instance of every appointment they've ever had. We just want the names. Um, so I'm going to click add rule. So now we have five rules for this query. So we want patients who start with active, are older than 18, have not been in within the last three years, have been in within the last 10 years, and do not have an appointment booked in the next one year. So the key thing to remember when you're building these lists, I'm going to click run as we're talking, is that we want to go from a broad filter down to the specific. So start with your biggest group and then add in the layers as you go in a logical way. So again, we don't want to look at all patients. We only want to look at Dr. Winnie the Pooh. We're going to click Run. And here we go. We've only got one delinquent patient who's still on our panel but hasn't been in in over three years. And now we can give him a call.